Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna be painting the brake calipers on my F32 BMW 440i. I picked up some VHT bright blue caliper paint for about 15 bucks from my local AutoZone. And then I also have some heat resistant uh, vinyl decal M stickers that are gonna go right on the brake calipers. And the goal for today's job is to create something that as close as possible resembles the upgraded M brake kit that looks so good on all these M cars for you know a fraction of the cost. Now, obviously this isn't gonna give me any sort of upgraded performance benefits that the M brake kits give you. It's just for show. But I think, you know, with a little bit of money and, you know, not too much effort, surprisingly, you can really make your brake calipers look a whole lot better. So that's the job for today. Figured I'd take you guys along with me, show you the process. So let's get into it. I'm gonna head over to my dad's garage. I'll catch you guys there. All right, so I'm over here in my dad's garage, and I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of what's gonna be going down today before I get into it. If you're like me and you have the M Sport package, but you still have the standard brakes, which I believe are the two piston in the front, one piston in the back, you have this really nice front brake caliper that looks a lot like the M brakes, and there's space here to put the, uh, you know, the M decal. But then you walk over to the back and you just have this basic looking brake caliper. It'll still look really nice painted blue, but there's no space for the M decal. And that's what I'm gonna be working on today. I feel like most of you guys are gonna have the same brake setup as me. But the process for today, guys, I'm not gonna remove the brake lines. I'm not gonna disconnect the brake lines because I don't wanna bleed the brakes. I'm just gonna raise the car, probably the front end first, and remove the two front wheels. And then I'll disconnect the caliper from the rotor and just hang it up with a piece of wire. And I'll block off all the backside with uh, trash bags and cardboard and all that good stuff, create a backstop. And I'll spray paint it right there while it's dangling. And it shouldn't be too bad, guys. So that's what we're gonna be getting into today.
So what do you think guys, look pretty good? I think so. And it better because it took 10 hours to complete. And I know some of you are probably thinking that's insane because you know, other people will just take a toothbrush and some paint and they'll be done in 15 minutes. But I decided to be as thorough as possible. I took my time, cleaned it up, made sure that the paint is gonna stick and it took a really long time, but I think the results speak for themselves. And not only that, but it will probably last, you know, many years to come before I have to redo the job. Sorry if it seems like the video cut out there in the middle. My phone died on me, so I wasn't able to record the end of that job, but the process for the front and the back obviously is the same on the other side, so you didn't miss much. And I do have to mention that I did cut out a whole bunch of struggles that I was having because I didn't want this to be a 10 hour video. So I had to leave a whole lot out of it. So I just want you guys to be aware that if you decide to take this project on yourself, it's not gonna be as easy as it may look on this video. There was a whole lot of, you know, elbow grease and, you know, trials and tribulation behind the camera. Honestly, I'm not so sure I would do this again, guys, because again, I was extra thorough, but it took so long and it was very painstaking. Yes, I saved a whole bunch of money and for about 20 bucks, I was able to make my brake calipers look really, really good, but you have to factor in your time into that equation and it's an entire day job, guys. You have to take off all four brake calipers, clean them up and paint them. So just be aware of that. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.